What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics, and today we are going to talk about the most important aspect of this particular hobby, patience. Before I dive into today's topic, probably by tomorrow, maybe even by the time this video drops, I'm going to be at 15,000 subscribers, so make sure you are commenting in this video. I am going to choose one of your comments to be the winner of a comic that I am buying for you up to $500. I'll have it shipped to your home and everything. That includes foreign. As a massive thank you, and frankly, I had no idea how this channel got to 15,000 subscribers as fast as it did, I'm giving back to you. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Patience is not just an awesome Guns N' Roses song, it is also something that is detrimental to us as collectors. As some of you probably have figured out in your own collecting, this is not an instant gratification hobby. Sometimes getting the book you want, or the set you want, or the collection, or the complete run you want, or maybe a complete Hot Toys run, or a complete statue display, it requires an immense amount of patience and money. But if you're patient, you can not spend as much money. We'll get into it. This is not a hobby where you can pretty much just go out and for a great deal get everything you need to find in a week. My buddy's been working on an amazing Spider-Man collection for many, many years, and it's not done. And it probably won't be done until, hey, maybe he's in his 60s. But he has patience and therefore it will be done. In the spirit of talking about patience, I'm gonna share with you a massive win for a particular collection that has taken me 10 years now to find. And I owe it all to patiently waiting and sticking it out, not giving up. You guys, a few months back, I dropped a video talking about how I've got a massive Nightfall collection and it's taken me years to collect and obtain myself, slab myself, 9.8s, white pages of this collection. Batman Nightfall is the story arc that I inherited as a kid that got me into drawing, got me into the love of comics. I owe so much of my life to this 90s Batman run. The only thing is certain issues are incredibly easy to find, like Batman 497. You can get a 9.8 for under $100 any day of the week. But some of the other ones have been incredibly tricky to find, locate, and achieve a 9.8. Those showcases were incredibly difficult to obtain. And randomly, in the middle of the Nightfall run, there was a three-part Shadow of the Bat arc that tied in. And they have proven incredibly difficult. I got part one and part three of this arc, but that part two, Shadow of the Bat 17, eluded me forever. A few months back, I basically spammed eBay, and I bought anything that resembled the wording mint, near mint, to kind of do as a social experiment to the channel to see really which of these really look near mint. I bought about 50 Shadow of the Bat 17s. I'd say about maybe 25 of them looked like they were around a 9.4, maybe some a 9.6, with a select few that could actually genuinely obtain a 9.8, and then one or two that looked like straight up 9.9s. Perfect, total minty fresh. I took 25 copies of Shadow of the Bat 17 and I submitted them to CGC and then I took 25 other DC books I had and that's going to come a little bit later this week, maybe next week. I pre-screened them all for a 9.8 and I thought maybe about 10 of them, looking at them, could actually obtain a 9.8 and I think the two that I thought looked like 9.9s are the ones that got it. I am proud to present my Nightfall collection in 9.8 is now complete with Shadow of the Bat 17. I believe with these, there are only, I want to say, four on the census in the 9.8. This has taken me 10 years to obtain. Do you know how many times I thought about giving up and just selling that collection and moving on? I stuck it out. And because I stuck it out, I have this immense gratification. So many people want to collect the Hulk 181s and the massive, massive keys. Even with my weekend hunting, this is weirdly enough more important because this is a testament to me and a little bit of a testament to my OCD, trying and succeeding at a really personal, amazing collection 
for myself. The feeling of having this collection complete is just indescribable. The only way I can compare it, if you've ever collected a near and dear collection close to you and you wanted to get them all in high grade and you obtained them all, that's the only way you'll be able to relate to me right now is if you got a complete collection or you obtained your holy grails. Well, this is how I'm feeling. So this is one of the highest feeling in comic collecting I've ever had. And it made me want to do a special video talking about patience. Patience means many things, guys. That means if you see something that you really want, it's on eBay, let's say it's for 250 bucks, but you notice that the fair market value is only like 150. Patience is sticking it out and being able to walk away knowing that, you know what? I will find this book. I promise myself I will be able to find this book one day for cheaper. I do it all the time. I walk away from books that I would love to have in my collection, but I know that I'm going to be able to find it on my own one day. Patience. Patience is the sole reason where if you do this collecting right, you won't go bankrupt. If you're patient, you're going to get the good deals. If you're patient, things that seem impossible can actually come true. Maybe you want to collect every single Scotty Young variant. Seems really difficult, and they're still being made, I believe. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But if you're patient, you can collect them all. You can. You can actually collect the entire first volume of Spider-Man. You can. Patience is having five issues of a six-part miniseries and just not getting frustrated when you can't find issue four or five or whatever. Patience is sticking it out and seeing that miniseries collection complete. Patience is when a book just gets astronomical, out of reach, but you know that it will come down one day and maybe you can get it yourself. Great example would be Venom number three. First appearance of Null. Patience would be hunting and finding that book, maybe in the wild, maybe even from a comic book shop, and either just keeping it raw or getting it slabbed and getting, who knows, maybe a 9.8. When I got my copy of Detective 880, when I got my copy of Teen Titans 12, I missed that train, but I was patient and I was able to find those books in the wild and I sent them in to CGC and they got 9.8s. Patience is when you got a lead on a comic book collection, but they're not really ready to sell. So you keep their information, you be an awesome person, an outstanding member of this community. And one day, because of your persistence and your patience, they're ready to sell. If you have the collector's mindset, you're not gonna get far without patience. Any of my friends in the custom statues game know very well that you can wait sometimes up to four years for these statues. I think I'm around three three years of waiting now. They're already fully paid and everything. I'm just waiting for the shipping notification. Patience. Patience is when you buy a sideshow figure and it doesn't arrive for a year later. Same thing with Hot Toys. Don't get frustrated and cancel it. Just be patient. It's going to arrive. Patience is dealing with a 14 month CGC return time and then having it come back overwhelmingly disappointing. Patience is also knowing when to sell. Maybe you got a nice cool book, but it's really calmed down. Patience is knowing, you know what? I think this thing is gonna go up again. I'm gonna be a little patient here. I have a friend that has, I think it's like 10 or 15 copies graded of the Jerjevic, I probably butchered that, the Jerjevic Ultimate Fallout 4 variant. I think like half of them are 9.8, half are 9.6. Patience is knowing I'm going to sit on these for 20 years and try to sell them then. By the way, that's like a $20,000 book or more right now. Imagine where that'll be in 20 years. That's a retirement plan right there. Patience is also not allowing yourself to get bullied into selling something for a price you don't want to sell it at. Just because you brought your books to a flea market or to a con and you list it for 100 bucks and someone says 60 bucks, you don't have to make that deal. Be a little patient. You can get a little closer to what you're asking for it or maybe even what you're asking for it as long as not, you're not being a dick and overpricing. Patience is seeing everyone else around you picking up massive, massive keys and not getting discouraged and knowing you're going to get it one day. I'd never had a Hulk 180 and it always bugged me. I've had, a, in the last year, I've had a few friends pick up collections where they got uh, 181 and 180 and it always bothered me that I never found that, but I knew to be patient and that I would find it. And last weekend, I did. Anyone who collected in the 90s knows about patience. When there is a bubble that collapses, many of you were patient and you waited and you still have those books to today. And maybe 
last summer when the prices were at their all-time highs, maybe that patience paid off for you. Patience is knowing that there's going to be ups and downs, and when you're in a down, things will go up. Patience is waiting for a frickin' omnibus that you've been trying to get forever and not jumping on eBay and dropping 500 bucks to get an out of print one. Patience is knowing, hey, they're probably gonna reprint that and it's gonna be like 80 bucks. I'll just wait. Patience is waiting for a new writer to take over your favorite title. Maybe you're not a fan of Tom King's Batman run. Well, if you're patient, James Tinian's doing it. Well, if you don't like that, if you be patient, someone else is gonna take over. You just gotta be patient. You just gotta wait, sometimes years. Patience is telling yourself that you've got a five-year plan to get 15,000 subscribers. You blink and suddenly it's been a year and a half and you've got it already. On that note, I love you all. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Not even two years in and we've met my 15,000 subscriber goal. So I owe it all to you guys. I'm gonna keep the content awesome and I'm gonna keep it pretty steadily for you. Thank you all so very much. Don't forget to comment. One of you is gonna get a $500 comic shipped to your home. And as always guys, keep on hunting with some patience.